What's up guys? Hope you're having the best day ever. Guys, quickly before we get into this, make sure that you're subscribed because unfortunately, you can't win any of my giveaways unless you're subscribed. So I'm gonna give you three seconds to hit that red subscribe button right now. And if it's already gray, great job. Okay guys, three seconds starts now. Three, two, one, done. Thanks so much guys, welcome to the Pretzel Army and let's get into this. So today guys, I'm going to be showing you some hacks and secrets you might not know in Adopt Me. Alright guys, let's get into this first hack. Oh, and I forgot to tell you all about the flying ride potion giveaways that I'm doing guys. So I did tell you that you have to be subscribed to enter the giveaways, but there are also some other things that you have to do. So guys, if you want to win one of these potions, make sure to stick around because I'll tell you how to enter later in the video. Alright guys, so this first hack is one that heaps of you guys have been asking me how I do because I did it in one of my previous videos and it was really funny and heaps of you were just like wondering how to do it. So for the first hack, I'm going to show you how to get these beach balls out of the pool area and just around Adoption Island. And this hack is pretty simple guys. All you need is a fly pet or a glider or just a strong avatar. It's really simple. You just need to get your flyable pet or whatever you're using and just push one of these bowls up this tiny hill. It does take quite a while, but I find if you go low, oh my gosh, I did not expect to do it that fast. But guys, you can only do it on this part of the beach because otherwise it just doesn't work since you can't get it up here or there. So let's try this one. I find that the small bowls are easier to do because they're smaller and lighter, but you just need to push them and then try and get some like, and then go like that. So let's head over and have a look. Oh my gosh, it goes day just as I come over. And now you can like play with these. I wish you could like hold on to them and like bring them up and then just drop them. And guys, if you get your friends in game as well, you can play together. All right guys, so I'm just gonna leave this here and people can play a new sort of football or soccer with a massive beach ball. That would actually be really fun. All right guys, so for this next hack, you're going to need to head over to the coffee shop because this is going to be the ultimate hiding spot for playing hide and seek with your friends. So the coffee shop is just outside the exit and Sparkles is feeling a little bit ill right now. So I'll take a detour over to the hospital because I don't want Sparkles to feel ill. Guys, I probably should have stocked up on healing apples first, but I forgot to do that. And if you guys don't know about the healing apples, they're really useful. You just go to this room and then to this room and on this bedside table, you can just take these awesome healing apples. They stay in your backpack until you leave the game, which is re like really cool because if you're having like a grinding session and making money and leveling up pets, you can just repetitively feed them the healing apples to make them feel well again. So guys, now you're just going to want to head over to the coffee shop and then inside where all the bees are, and this is going to be where your hack is, guys. Oh, nothing is loading at the moment. Okay, there we go. But for this hack, guys, you're going to want to go into either this little beehive here or this beehive here. I find this one's the best one because people don't usually look at it. And you're just going to want to go into this little place here and then stop ride. And you can do it with a propeller, a grappling hook, pretty much anything. But but the next step is just to get like a grappling hook. So go into toys, grab a grappling hook and just cling on inside here if you're an adult. Or the easier option is to go into your dress up and then switch to baby, which is really awesome. And now you can just head in here with no fuss and you can just stand in here. And I think it's a pretty good hiding spot. If you have a tombstone, you could just stand in here and be invisible, which is awesome. All right guys, so the way that you can do it without a fly pet is to go and grab a grappling hook and just to cling onto here and then aim your vest and pretty much you get straight here and then walk in here as a baby and bam, you're right in there. That's like, that's like the fastest way. But if you've already got a fly pet out, then it's still pretty easy. Honey isn't funny, it belongs in my tummy. That's just, that's funny. Who would have guessed there was an island around the coffee shop? All right guys, so this next hack is really cool. Your friends will like be mind blown and everybody else on the server will go crazy because this hack will let your pogo stick just go forever and ever and ever. I like using the kangaroo pogo stick because it looks the best, but as of now, you can use any type of pogo stick to do this hack. Once you get this kangaroo pogo stick out, you're just going to dress up, but next you're going to want to go all the way down to the bottom of this list and press on this little icon here. So now you've got this massive list of different sort of costumes and next you're going to want to spam click absolutely every single one of these and just randomly click them. And then, yeah, and then the pogo stick will just start to glitch. So do different ones, do different ones. I find if you do one and then go to this like water golem guy, it stretches it out even more. But as you can see, it's going crazy right now. But the more that you do it, the more crazier it gets. So I'm just gonna keep on doing this forever and ever and just see how crazy it could go. All right guys, I've only done a few of these costumes, but take a look at this. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. It just goes on and on forever. 
and I'm just on my normal kangaroo pogo stick and its ears or whatever body part that is, is just all the way up in the air and it's absolutely psycho. Guys, this is like the world's tallest pogo stick and adopt me. It goes on forever and ever and I, wait, could we like fly to the top of it? Does this like go on forever? That would be awesome if it goes on forever and ever and ever and ever. Guys, go try this hack for yourself. Let me know what you think of it because this is actually really cool. Look guys, you can also ride your pet while using this crazy pogo stick. So yeah guys, this is absolutely crazy and I don't think Sparkles is enjoying this. So I'm just gonna stop riding Sparkles because uh, yeah, I don't think that would feel good. All right guys, so this next hack is going to be another code that you can write into the chat. And I've shown you heaps of codes that you can write into the chat so far. And heaps of them have been some awesome emotes. I've done forward slash E dance, which was an awesome one that makes you do this Becky dance. Forward slash E wave you can also do, which is another awesome one. And you can also do forward slash E point. So those are the ones that I've shown you so far in my videos. But guys, I've got two new ones to show you today. And guys, these are super simple ones. And you pretty much just need to go into the chat and do forward slash E space. And then the emotes that you want to do. So today I'm going to be showing you how to laugh. So it's forward slash E laugh. And this one is kind of a weird one, but still it, you just laugh. Like you just go ha 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 ha. And you just laugh forever, which is kind of cool. And I'm also going to show you how to do forward slash E and then shrug. Like you pretty much just shrug. If you don't know what you're doing, just do forward slash each shrug. So guys, these quick emotes are really helpful because usually you will click on your avatar, then go emotions, and then pick which one you want to do, and then go to actions. Oh, I want to clap. And now you would clap. Like it takes quite a while. And these emotes aren't actually from clicking on your avatar. So these are some secret emotes that you can do and barely anybody knows about them. So they're pretty cool. All right guys, so for this next hack, you will need like a fly or ride pet or you can use an extra account. So I'm just going to be using Sparkles My Fly Ride Unicorn, but you could use a sibling's account or just like a friend's account, parent's account, and pretty much anybody's account on another device and have them sit in your stroller. Or you can meet a friend in game and have them sit in your stroller as a baby for you to do this hack. So the next step is to just go over here near the hospital and then walk over to the nursery. So you're near this red wall and you pretty much just stand here and then push your pet or other account through this wall. It might take a few tries. You're going to need to jump and do it or you could put shift lock on and do stuff like that. Or you could do it on this rock and push it in. I find that's the easiest way. And as you can see, Sparkles is now in the nursery. So next you're going to want to either teleport to the account that's in your stroller or just fly or ride your pet. And guys, look, we're in a secret spot inside the nursery. Nobody can see you here. And this is like perfect for hide and seek or just spying on people and watching them trade, watching some scams happen. If you were like the scam police in a role play or something, you can just stand here and it's a secret spot. As you can see, I'm not lying. You can actually see people just walking around. Look, is someone about to go into the nursery? So as you can see, they just walked in the nursery by going like through this door and they just like walk through here and they just like disappear once they're in here. So they can't see you when they walk in, but this is like super cool guys. This server is like empty now, but this is really cool because you can just like look around, spy on people. And we've even got the beach ball over there that we can see on the soccer court. That's so weird, it's actually still there. Nobody's touched it, but we've actually got the ball from the first hack. So let's get on to the next hack guys. And as you can see, I'm writing Sparkles right now. And that's like a pretty awesome name that you guys named her. And since then, I've been getting you to name heaps of my other pets. So recently I've asked you to name my Arctic Reindeer and you guys came up with some awesome names. So let's just pull him out and let me show you guys which name I picked. So let's get my Arctic Reindeer out. And right now he's all dressed up in a top hat. I'm just gonna dress him up and take away his top hat. And then I can show you guys what the Pret Salami named him. So let's go into the name and let's just clear it out. And you guys are gonna see it just as I type it. So this name was a series of names that one of you awesome Pret Salami members suggested. And there were so many names that you suggested. So let's just put him in and let's go three, two, one. There's the name guys, it's Dasha. Thank you so much to Jack Fluke for naming my awesome reindeer. And as I get more Arctic reindeers and more normal reindeers, I'm just going to be naming them different names of each of Santa's reindeers, like Dasha, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, and so on. This is a pretty cool name guys. And thank you so much Pretzelami for coming up with these awesome names. All right guys, let's just get on with this hack. And as you guys can see, Dasha's name is written right above his head. But sometimes you just don't want the name there. Sometimes it's just a little bit klutzy and a bit too much. So sometimes you want to remove the name so it's just the pet. So in this hack, I'm going to show you how to remove the name of your pet. And this is really simple, guys. 
just need to go into dress up and then click on this little name icon up here so you can change the name. Delete whatever name is there. I'm going to be writing Dasha back in just a moment after this hack, guys. Don't worry. And next, you're going to want to do whatever letter you want to do. I'm just going to do P because my name is Presley. And then, so it's P, Control, J, and then another P. So you could do it with A, C, pretty much anything. And then once you press save, it will say up here that your name is PP. But once you go off it, its name has actually disappeared. So it's got no name now. It's just the little bar saying preteen above his head and there's absolutely no name. So guys, if you're using an iPad, you can still do this hack, but all you need to do is just go into notes and write A, enter A. So there's going to be one A on one line and one A underneath the other A. Or pretty much any letter like I did with my Arctic Reindeer and how I did P. So next step is just copy and paste it by like double tapping and then dragging and then once it's like fully highlighted you just copy it and then paste it into your pet's name. Once you do this stuff guys your pet won't have a name anymore and that's an easy way to do it on your iPad and an easy way to do it on your computer. So guys don't forget that I'm doing a fly and a ride potion giveaway at the moment. All you need to do to enter the giveaway is join the pretzel army, leave a like, subscribe and comment down below your Roblox username and have the best day ever guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace!